Bear, beard, bird, beer. Do you have a hard time distinguishing and remembering these words? They're not easy words, but there's one that gives people a harder time to pronounce. The word bird. Today, we're going to learn exactly how to pronounce the vowel in this word and when to use it. Why is the word bird so hard to pronounce? Well, many people in Spanish tend to pronounce the I like the Spanish I, E. And so they say beard. But beard in English is barba in Spanish. So it's a different word completely. So we need to learn exactly how to pronounce this sound with the IR, bird. But not just with IR, it's also with other vowels, ER, OR, UR. Say these words out loud. Then listen to me pronounce them. Are you saying them correctly? Her, were, alert, first, work, world, turn, Thursday. If you said her, or first, or work, or turn, then now you know that you are pronouncing these words wrong. The phonetic symbol is like a curved E that's backwards, kind of like the number three. To pronounce this sound, pronounce it similar to the schwa, uh, but with an R sound on it, er, er. Like I said before, this sound is used in words with ER, IR, OR, UR, and sometimes with E-A-R. I'll give you a few examples now, and you can see more in the blog post that we've linked to in the description. Now remember that in British English, it is common to not pronounce the R after vowels. So, I will pronounce these words both in the American pronunciation and then the British pronunciation so you can hear the difference. Repeat them with me in the accent that you want to practice. Ready? Her, were, person. Her, were, person. Third, bird, birthday. Third, bird, birthday. Work, world, worst. Work, world. Worst. Thursday. Burn. Surface. Thursday. Burn. Surface. Learn. Early. Earth. Learn. Early. Earth. Not all words with these letters make this sound. How do we know when to use the sound? The easiest way is to look in the dictionary. Look and see if this word has this symbol. Also, pay attention when you hear other people pronounce this word. The more you practice, the more natural it will become to know when to use the sound. Now, go to the link in the description and record yourself saying these phrases. Then, save your recording and copy the link into the comments here. We will listen to your recording and give you feedback on your pronunciation. In the next video, we will talk about the differences between the O and A sounds in British and American English and in Spanish. So make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss it. And if you found this video useful, click the like button and tell us in the comments what you think about this sound. Thanks!